I thought I'd want to be a concept artist or some sort of illustrator, perhaps. Um, and I wanted to go to Watts to learn traditional drawing and painting because uh, I've only been a digital painter pretty much my whole life. I've never really done any pencil stuff or oils. I, my first idea actually was to be a concept artist. And uh, when I got um, to speak with Jeff and uh, I started to realize I actually want to do traditional art. I wanted to do illustration, um, fine art probably. So um, yeah, it just could uh, change completely. I actually found out um, over the internet uh, on an uh, internet article from uh, Noah Bradley. Um, he wrote about the Watts Antilles. It was a long time ago. Like I, I think I just stumbled on it uh, through the internet, probably through the Art Renewal Center website. And then um, that was the first time I heard about it. I was fascinated by uh, movie industry and game industry and when I was making that decision about fine art I was rejecting it a bit and then I figured out why. I thought I'm um, give it a shot and I do just a drawing course. The, yeah, And from there it, I was just more impressed and I went uh, with the full course. Uh, the main difference between this school and that school is um, the emphasis on design, the emphasis on taking something from nature and making it look, look better than it actually is. And that's one of the things that I, I think I'm taking with me that is of great value. Watts, I think, uh, pushes a bit more technical proficiency first and then design later on. So for me, that's what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for that classic fine art education we kind of have going around right now at the accredited schools. So for anyone looking to get their really like technical skills really up really fast, I think this is the best place to go. One thing that is probably really high on the list of things that I liked the most out of this school is um, the constant uh, demonstration that the teachers do. I have never seen that before. Uh, just on every class would come in and the teacher would demonstrate for uh, 30 minutes, an hour, how they would do things. And I think that's one of the best ways uh, that I found to, to, to learn. Uh, all these people are making the experiences in school amazingly inspiring because we are surrounded with young people that are courageous, that are really a little bit insane about art. They collect art books, they do not sleep, they paint. It's, it's hard to not improve. Yeah. really because there's no way out i had the false idea that when you're good at digital painting that will easily transfer over right away into oils it, it doesn't do that right away so it kind of came as a shock uh and uh, it was very challenging the work you're going to see on your pad or uh, canvas won't be representative of what your brain is kind of capable of putting out you know making bad drawings that doesn't mean you fail Failing is only when you stop doing it, so just keep going. Make bad drawings until you make good drawings. Once you are here, it's easy. Just hard work and immersion and... Yeah, it's a perfect experience. The amount of uh, progress that I've seen through my own stuff just in these past 10 weeks is really astounding to me. Um, if they put the same amount of effort into it, uh, I, they would improve at just the same rate and I know if I stayed here longer I would I would get really good pretty fast I think you don't feel like you're studying you feel like you are I don't know you you're it's different it's not like hard work and studying and you know forcing yourself it's not because there are people around who loves what they do there's no forcing there's no uh, bidding anything that you would uh, assess education to, it's just, it's just a pleasure. 